All right, welcome to those who are joining us here on the uh, Zoom room. And we were just sharing some conversation, some notes about what inspires and cultivates a sense of well being uh, for us. And this is inspired by uh, this topic tonight, this theme by a quote that was shared, um, a quote from a teacher, Gil Fronstall, and it was shared by Tricycle Magazine. I think it was, I don't know, maybe an Instagram post or something like that, like one of those, you know, a little catchy little quote phrase that um, they put into a nice font on a nice background. And I took a screenshot of it because it, it was just really touched something in me. I was like, oh, that's good. I really like that. Um, and it's been with me for a couple of days. I'm, I'm away at um, a lake at a cottage right now. And I've a couple of times, several, I would say almost many times, it's come up for me where I'm just walking or sitting or being and it's come it, arisen in awareness, this sense of inviting well being, just turning towards, noticing, opening to what well being is here. So, kind of turning the light of awareness to noticing well being that's, that's already present in that moment. And that if it wasn't, intended, the mind could easily fall into habit of noticing all the infinite things it doesn't want or wants more of or ruminating over something or worrying, planning over something. And it's felt like a real, just this practice of inquiring, inviting, cultivating well-being has in itself cultivated well-being because it's turned the habit of the mind away from the other grooves, the other deep-rooted tendencies to worry and to want something other than this present moment as it is. So this, this quote from uh, the teacher Gil Fronstall I'll put it below in the YouTube recording. And um, if anyone on the Zoom call um, would like it, you could just email me and I'll, I'll send you the script for it. Um, it goes like this. In Buddhism, it is considered appropriate and helpful. Love these words, appropriate and helpful. Uh, to cultivate and enhance our well-being. There are important words there as well. Cultivate and enhance. So it's a practice. It's something we turn towards, we develop. And, and then he goes on to say, and enhance it. So, you know, which is not the same as embellishing it. It's just to turn the light of awareness to it so that it's really known. Hmm. The quote goes on, it is all too easy. <laughs> so true, it is all too easy to overlook the well-being that is easily available in daily life. It is all too easy. They grooves, the habits of, and the, our culture of wanting and not wanting, of worrying, of ruminating, of planning, of doubting, judging, greed, hatred, and delusion. These things make it all too easy to overlook the well-being that is available in our daily life. And then he goes on, even taking time to enjoy one's tea. I love a good mug of mindful tea. It's a very important part of my days. Or the sunset. 
can be a training in letting in well-being. How sweet is that? Even taking time to enjoy one's tea or the sunset can be a training in well-being, in a training in letting in well-being, <laughs> letting it in. Well-being is, is there. And, and are we, it's so interesting also taking the time to enjoy one's tea. You're already drinking the tea. <laughs> so it's not taking more time. It's turning the light of awareness to the present moment, to the sweetness of the sun on your face or the shadows in the grass, the sweetness of the tea or the... So we in our, our Zoom call here before the recording, uh, some folks were sharing what inspires, what cultivates in what ways um, the training of letting in well-being is showing up for folks. And uh, as, as always in these um, Zoom groups, uh, all kinds of wisdom showing up. Um, so some of the things mentioned are, are uh, the sense of connecting with something bigger than ourselves, something bigger than me and mine and my worries and my concerns. These are all very important and we turn towards them. It's not a spiritual bypassing, but it's a sense of this and yes, and there's a sense of being connected with a larger community, with a spiritual tradition, with nature, the interconnectedness of life is a great source of well-being. Another piece of wisdom shared by the Sangha here is the, was the um, acceptance of what is. What a beautiful definition of well-being. I love that. Well-being, acceptance of what is. That's, there's so much in that, you know, because Often, I think we can think that well-being is when everything's good. <laughs> There's no illness and mentally feeling pretty stress-free, emotionally feeling happy, uh, socially feeling connected, you know, spiritually, all of these ways. Oh, that's well-being. Wow. When do those stars line up? well-being coming from acceptance of what is oh it's like this right now and as gil is pointing to here this training in letting in well-being to turn towards what is okay right now what is what am i not paying attention to like ah oh, breath is here this degree, this amount of wellness is here, this amount of connection, this amount of comfort, you know, instead of like always looking at the not enoughness. Um, yeah, and the, the group uh, here community was also talking about the importance of connection with others. And um, Another part uh, in, uh, I was kind of researching what, it, what does well-being mean in, in our common everyday lexicon um, and uh, giving to others a sense of connection to community, of generosity, a sense of uh, no matter how much, it, it counters a sense of not enoughness. I don't have enough. So in what ways can we give by giving our time or energy, our care, our companionship, um, our support in the community, you know, all these ways of um, giving are an important source of well-being. Um, another um, aspect, you know, in these kind of uh, studies and lists of what creates well-being was uh, 
paying attention to the present moment. And of course, this is what we're doing here with our practice and this cultivation. Uh, there was a beautiful comment in the in the chat here about showing up for myself and for a daily morning practice, no matter how it is, which is similar to the other comment of acceptance, what is acceptance of what is um, and <sighs> that paying attention to the present moment and cultivating that pre practice. So that well-being hopefully can expand in our awareness to be more than just the absence of illness. We can uh, sometimes think well-being just means like, I'm totally healthy. <laughs> There's aging, sickness and death um here for all of us right now and so if we limit our sense of well-being to just the absence of illness um we will not be connecting to a sense of well-being uh, so to include these other aspects of emotional social mental spiritual um and to whatever degree of physical well-being is available, the acceptance of what is, but also turning towards what am I not really attending to and noticing that is here right now. Uh, so this is um, the inspiration for the practice tonight to cultivate and turn towards uh, what well-being is here. And it's just like, uh, I realize those on the watching the recording are just uh, seeing mm, my face here, but I'm seeing the rest of the community on the screen and there's this gorgeous light happening for folks. There's this a beautiful rays of light coming across the screen and the image and, and it's it just is like <laughs> radiant uh, spectrum of rainbows happening that's just filling me with a lot of well-being and joy and beauty and just noticing and turning towards that and uh the being able to see people's faces and a sense of connection even through these devices and all that that we wish maybe were otherwise but i'm also really grateful for them because uh otherwise uh, we wouldn't be sitting together tonight. Yeah, so uh, thank you for Tricycle Magazine for sharing this quote from this teacher, Gil, that I will um, put down below in the YouTube recording and uh, we'll email to folks on the Zoom if you would like a copy of it. Um, after the recording, I can type it out into the chat too, maybe if we have time. Okay, yeah, so for a practice like this, we really want to take some time to adjust your posture to cultivate this, cultivate and enhance a sense of well being. So, what does your system need in whatever time of day you're practicing and however your day has been? So, for folks on, well, wherever, whenever you're practicing with this, you might want to turn your screen off or turn away from your screen. You could lay down, you might like to dim your lighting or uh, open your blinds, you know, whatever. Take, take a few moments here to adjust, get any cushions or supports you need. I'm gonna get a little cushion for behind my back here. Mm -hmm. So start by setting up your posture in a way that enhances your well-being. Oh, that feels much better. The puppy has gone to sleep, so we don't have any noise right now. Let's hope that carries on. All right. All right, so setting aside any uh, 
distractions, if that's helpful for you. And really giving yourself this gift of time and presence. And just setting a timer here. As you're arriving into your posture, also allowing it time for any movement or stretching that you might need. If it's helpful to look around your space. Sometimes it can be helpful to have some touch. I find it helps my sense of well-being to hold my face sometimes like this or take some deeper sighing breaths. Some find it helpful to have a hand at the heart or belly or massaging out any tension in the face or elsewhere so that you're not rushing into your practice or jumping into meditating. Just take time here to meet yourself, meet the body. And then really gradually when it feels good and appropriate time for you, inviting some sense of stillness. So even if you're doing a walking practice tonight, slowly, mindfully walking back and forth, there may be movement there, but there's a sense of inner stillness. For me, it almost feels like an elevator sliding down the front of the spine, landing into inner stillness. So that all that is stirred up and swirling from our day, from our week, from the world, can just be seen swirling around, but as the light of awareness meets that, it starts to slow a little bit. And the slowing down and settling happens in a direction. It happens in the direction of the ground. Slowing down, settling down, winding down. So the flesh, the muscles of the face begin to soften. The muscles of the neck and shoulders begin to lengthen. And the weight of the shoulders slides down. down through the elbows into relaxed hands. And then we check into the center of the heart, center of the belly, and see if we can open to some spaciousness here. Some softening, widening, 
spaciousness. The spaciousness with how it is in this present moment. So as the upper body softens, we may begin to experience more weightedness and presence through the lower half of the body. Hips, legs and feet, grounding, supported. The earth element of this body meeting with the same earth element of this planet. Same, same. Then we'll invite in an intention for our practice tonight. The intention to cultivate and enhance our well being. So in this present moment, as the body settles to whatever degree is available, feeling what part of this is a sense of well-being, however it is right now. The Vietnamese teacher Thich Nhat Hanh often has been cited as saying to notice the non-toothache. What sense of letting in well being is known for you just in this connection to ground, to earth element, to the support of the ground? feeling supported. In this present moment, we can also connect with the experience, the cultivation of well being from community. To know that even if you're practicing this in your own home, 
at some later time, energetically and with our heart minds, we are connected. You are connected with all these other folks that are practicing for the cultivation of these skillful qualities that are considered appropriate and helpful. And through the practice tonight, while well, you're including the background joyful sounds of Chihuahua puppy in the background. And then if it's helpful to you, opening to what else is, is well for you in your life right now. It's so easy, the tendency to notice what isn't quite how we want it to be. So we can include the contemplation, inquiry, opening to, turning towards, letting in well-being so you can inquire into spiritual mental physical emotional social whatever ways na nature what well-being is there for you to let in and turn towards in this moment This might even be known as simply as the breath. Any sensations of ease in the body.
Noticing how the simple cultivation of presence with ourselves, with however it is in this moment, has within it the experience of well being, this non judgmental awareness, presence, and just turning towards that, really knowing what that feels like. And in these last five minutes of practice, you might find it helpful if it feels supportive to you to include some cultivation, some phrases, intentions, wishes to enhance our well being. So it may be something like, May I train in letting in well being? May I incline my awareness towards well being? See what wording resonates for you, or if that feels supportive to uh, turn towards and really cultivate this now.
Really acknowledging the gift you've given yourself of this practice, this presence, this intention, and how this in and of itself cultivates well being. And to whatever degree it is available to you in this moment, noticing the sensations of well being. What does it feel like now in your body, your energy, your heart and mind? As you've undertaken this practice of cultivation. Is there a place in your body where that experience of well being can land? In a moment, I'll ring a bowl three times, allow yourself to receive that sound until the end of the third sound, and then gently transitioning from your practice. Thank you for joining us on practice. If you were practicing with the YouTube recording and um, have a sweet rest of your day or evening. Thank you.